Neely, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me on. Neely, uh, talk a little bit about how the race is going thus far. I know the uh, finally the petitioning is, is over with, yeah. right? And you're yeah. filing. Uh, talk a little bit about that. How'd it go? Great. Um, I mean, the momentum is with us. And from Queensboro Hill all the way to Oakland Gardens, we've seen like really great response across the neighborhoods. Um, and really excited that we have seven, eight weeks left until election day. And the, the momentum is going to increase along, along with uh, the coming days and weeks. Nearly the city and state, I, I know you probably read them, the story about the filing right. uh, and also the, the Rory Langsman story. Mm -hmm. Set the record straight, myth, fact, what, what much you do about nothing. What, uh, talk, first talk about the filing story. I mean, bottom line is that I outraised my opponent and the first 10 candidate and we had a really strong showing. Um, in terms of Assemblymember Lanceman, you know, I completely understand his decision and I only hope to broaden my coalition and to gain support uh, across the district and across our community and from a lot of labor unions and I only see that momentum increasing and that support broadening. Um, so I'm very excited for what's to come next. Neely, talk a little bit about your, your background. Uh, eres fluent en español, you're fluent in Spanish. Uh, uh, tell the, uh, you know, the viewers what, what your background is. So my parents are actually Argentinian um, and I was born in Israel moved to Queens when I was younger, um, but grew up in the neighborhood speaking Spanish, um, Hebrew, English, all mixed together. Um, and I really believe that, you know, my first generation American story is one that resonates with a lot of the voters and something that people are really excited about and really rallying behind. Um, I grew up in Fresh Meadows, went to local schools in the neighborhood, and um, since college, I've actually worked in the assembly. So worked my way up from being a scheduler and community organizer to a chief of staff for many, many years. Neely, do you, how do you plan to reach out to Latino voters in the district? What percentage of the district would you say is Latino? So I've actually used my uh, Castellano demasiado. Um, I have been surprised at how much um, Spanish I've actually used door to door. Um, we have been calling uh, Latino voters and reaching out to them. Um, they're very excited about my candidacy um, and it makes up a good chunk of the district. Um, so we're, we're excited about that. Neely, uh, give me your, your, uh, your pitch as a voter. Uh, sure. Draw a contrast between yourself and, and your uh, main opponent, which is Jerry Ionisi, sure. who has the backing of the Queens Democratic Party. What, draw a contrast. So, what do people need to know about INEC so they can vote for Neely Rasek? <laughs> so I offer a new, bold voice, a different perspective on what's going on locally and what should be happening in Albany. I come with you know many, many years of experience working in the assembly, working in government. I know how to bring results back to the community. And I offer something different. I'm a first generation American, a young woman, um, who only seeks to bring good things back to the community and to work on um, new and exciting legislative priorities. Any notable endorsements you want to mention, Neely? Sure. I've actually recently been endorsed by the Working Families Party. Wow. Good, good. Neely, any, anything you want to add to the conversation? Anything you want to mention briefly? I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm very... Um, very excited to have you here in Queens and looking forward to keep uh, keeping that momentum going until September 13th. Thank you very much, Nate.